Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a full face of first impressions. I have a ton of products here in front of me that I want to show you guys in a video. I have so many bronzers in there, so I think that's gonna be a bit of an ish, trying to pick out one. I have already done my foundation because I'm reviewing the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation today. If you are intrigued about this foundation, then stay tuned for that tutorial because obviously I've already done it, but it's still a first impression, so we're gonna go with that. I am gonna move on to my eyes now like I always, always, always do because I have have my base on and I have no concealer or anything like that but you guys know that I always do my eyes next. I got this friend I got this foundation. I got that. Let's start that again. I got this eyeshadow in P or and it's from Be Perfect Cosmetics and it's the LMD Louise McDonough Master palette. I've never seen this before. I've never seen tutorials on it. I don't really know too much about it. So this is what the palette looks like and it's very beautiful actually. There's loads of different shades in here. I'm so drawn to this red colour but I think I'm going to stick with something like warmer like over here because when I was doing the Makeup Revolution test on their, what they call their they're new eyeshadow palettes anyway. I used red in that and I just want to do something different, something I haven't done in a while and I actually haven't done warm oranges and browns in a while. Ha! Shocker! I think a warm brown eye might be something nice. They're quite pigmented actually. That's just a few of the shades there and we're gonna test these out on the eyeballs. They're actually very, very pigmented. Very, very nice. Prime my eyelids first and I'm just going to apply my Benefit Stray. Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Now I'm going to take my favourite eyelid setting powder as of late and that is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I love this. Love, 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 love this. One of the best discoveries in a while. It's just so great at setting eye bases and concealer underneath the eyes. I just really like this powder. I'm going to hop into this palette as a transition. We'll go with Peachy. I know it's probably a blush but, you know, you can use blushes. Ooh, there's a little bit of kick up from the shadows there. Just, I don't know if you can see that, just a little bit dusty, but nothing that I can't overcome. And I'm taking it on a Morphe M504 brush. I'm just gonna pop that straight into my crease and just start to build up the shadow. Gonna do circular motions like that into my crease. I will zoom up in a minute when I'm doing more intricate things on my eyes. I'm just gonna kind of bring that out a little bit because I will clean up all this with concealer. I'm gonna move on to Toffee, I think. So I'm just taking that on a Zoeva 228 crease brush. And there's a little bit of kick up from that shadow. It's like a mustard yellow shade and it's building really nicely. Almost taking it in the same positioning. I'm happy out with that so far. Okay, so I'm super impressed with those shadows so far. They're building quite nicely. I'm gonna go into this more orange shade, which is called Tiger. You can just see like the little bit of kick up you do get from the shadow, but it's nothing crazy. I'm just gonna pop this a little bit lower than the previous orange shade that I popped in the crease. These shadows are really pigmented. I'm very impressed with them. I'm gonna bring this just onto the outer corner of my eye as well, a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with the more yellowy shade, which was called Marbs, and just kind of reinforce that shade back to my crease. Okay, so next I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Toffee, and I'm just gonna place this in the outer V of my eye, or the outer corner of my eye. Mm, that's not, like it's not as pigmented as the other shades. I'm gonna go in with the shade Coco, I think, because it's a bit darker. We'll do the same technique. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. So I'm just gonna go back in with all those shades that I used previously, just to clean up any of the harsh lines and just kind of add the shades back so that we haven't lost any of them from blending. I got these two cool liquid shadows. These are cream eyeshadows from Catrice and I wanna try them out. So I have this kind of rose gold shade and the champagne shade. I don't know if the champagne, rose gold, so that's what they look like. That's the rose gold one and that's the champagne shade. I'm thinking the champagne shade for this look that I'm going for.
thought these might be like these Stila, you know, the cream shadows that they have, not the magnificent glitters because there's no real glitter in these. And just to kind of blend it into this shade here, I'm just taking the shade Rusty from the LMD palette. I'm just going to kind of pop that over the top just to blend it into the other shadows. Pretty happy with the eye look so far and I'm going to go in with this brand new Catrice. This is the Rockature liquid liner. I picked this up to compare it to my Essence, my ink liner. You guys know how much I love that. That is super, super black. I'm just gonna fill in this bit here off camera because it's just easier for me and bring it the whole way in here to the corner because I just can't do eyeliner on camera. Okay, I feel like I messed up the liner just a little bit, but this is what we got going on. It was so easy to use. It's really, really, really dark. I'm so impressed with everything so far. Everything is going really, really well. I'm gonna place on my mascara now, and this one is from Essence. It's the Instant Volume Power Curl, and I've never used this before. Mascara, I don't know for anybody else, but it's always the dodgiest part of me applying my makeup because it's when you can totally screw the whole situation up. So I just put my lashes on. I'm waiting for the glue to dry before I go down with some more... What was the word I was going for? Eyeliner, that's the one. I have a ton of new eyebrow products. The first one is the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Pomade. And I'm excited to try that. It looks very like the Benefit Cabrow. I have it in the shade 103, I think it is. Hmm, what shade is that? It doesn't tell me. I need a mirror. I was gonna try out the Beauty Bakery eyeshadow today, the Neapolitan one, but I think I might do a separate video on the brand. So I'm just gonna pop this through my brows. The shade is perfect as well and it's so user friendly. It's a pomade is more like a gel so it's not too soft but it's not really hard if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to try this product. This is the clear brow setting gel. So this is what the wand of it looks like or the spoolie. Oh that's quite nice. Next I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm going to take the total cover concealer from BH Cosmetics and this is in the shade 104. I've never used this before. I feel like this shade might be a tad bit light so I'm just going to apply this underneath my eye. It is a bit on the light side but hopefully we can get away with it. I'm not a big fan of the applicator guys, just the paddle or the, the shape of it but it's not about the applicator, it's about the concealer itself. So I'm just going to blend all that out. Shade's quite nice, it's like a yellow shade. It might be a tad bit light just with its foundation and just the fact I have tan and stuff on, but maybe on days when I'm a little bit paler. There's a lot of coverage from that, a little bit of that goes a long way. Ooh. I may have overestimated how much concealer I actually needed. And now I'm gonna take this contour kit from NYX because I've never used this before. So that's what it looks like. It's obviously a contour kit. You've got contour shades and highlight shades. So I'm just gonna take this banana shade underneath my eye just to set it and obviously brighten up further even. The is actually really nice. It's lightweight, so it's not causing any creasing and it's just sitting on the skin nicely. I don't have a new face setting powder, so I'm just gonna take my MAC Select Sheer Press Powder and just set my face with that. I'm gonna go back in with the LMD palette. I'm gonna take the shade Tiger, that orange shade. I'm just gonna place that underneath my lower lash line. And you know what, just for the outer corners of the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this purpley shade and just pop that here. Now I'm just gonna take the shade Loyal and just gonna pop that on the inner corner or the inner tear duct and just underneath my brow bone. I really like this palette guys. I think it is amazing. I'm loving the shades and the blendability of it. It's a really good palette if you can pick it up. I'm not sure exactly where to get it, but I'll try and find it and link it down below. I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and pop that on my lower lashes. Ooh, I haven't used a big wand like this in ages because I'm using that Pixi lower lash mascara. 
for a big wand I'm finding it difficult oh my god oh, okay I think that's enough of that because I've stabbed myself four times and I don't have a new eyeliner so I'm just gonna take Costa Riche from MAC and just pop that into my lower waterline Okay, I'm gonna bronze my face and like I said, I have like 10,000 different bronzers. I've got that NYX kit. I got this gorgeous new palette from Urban Decay. So pretty in real life and I swatched this online last night and on my vlog. And this shade Paranoid that I was kind of worried about that I thought it was a highlighter, it's actually a bronzer, but it's just a bit pale for me right now. Take the Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. And this was sent out to me in PR last week. So I'm just gonna bronze my skin up with this. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, the smell of it is delicious. It's really nice, actually. I'm probably applying way too much of this, but who cares? <laughs> That is a really nice bronzer. I'm obsessed with that. I've only just used it once and I'm obsessed with it. Now I'm gonna take the NYX palette and I'm gonna contour just a little bit with this. So I'm going to take, hmm, I think this shade here. Quite pigmented actually. You guys are probably like, you have way too much product on, but Oh well. I'm loving how insanely well this full face first impressions is going guys. I'm actually shook. Oh my god, there goes my camera. I'm going to go in with the shade Score from this new palette from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to take this on a Wet n Wild blush brush. And just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Ooh. That's so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Sin. And I'm going to take this on my F03 brush from Sigma, my favourite highlighting brush ever. And let's go cray cray. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So pretty. Oh my God, I love you. Okay, so now I'm moving on to lips. And I'm going to take this lip liner from Colourpop. And I've only used this once, so it's still technically kind of a new product. Okay, and now I'm gonna take one of the Dosa Colors lipsticks. I've had this one a little bit, but I've only used it once, as you can see, and I can't remember if I liked it. This was the shade Butterscotch, so I'm just gonna apply this to the center of my lips. I have a few of these, but uh, this is just the one I picked up out of my collection, believe it or not. It's a matte shade, but it's quite creamy. I have the worst lips at the moment. I already tweeted about this. I am using the Carmex at the moment because that's what everyone said for me to use and I got Blistex yesterday just to apply it onto my lips as well because my lips are dire. So even though these are matte formula they're not drying they're kind of a little bit creamy on the lips and this looks crazy right now I need to blend the lip liner into this. So I know you guys hate when I wear nude lipsticks because I wear them so often but they are my faves. I promise I will do more lip colours coming into the summer and in the next couple of tutorials because I know we are all sick of the nude shades. The final products I have are from Laura Geller. So they sent out these Colour Luster Glosses. This shade is in Pink Sapphire. Oh, how pretty. And then this one is in Gilded Honey, which I'll probably use Gilded Honey. That's one of their most famous highlighters. So this is Gilded Honey and this is Pink Sapphire. So Gilded Honey, Pink Sapphire. Let's go with Gilded Honey. Let's put a bit of gloss on, why not? That's so pretty. There's not too much like glitter in it so it's not overbearing. It's all over my Invisalign now. <laughs> okay, I think we are done and dusted. What do we think of the products, guys? What was your favorite things from this tutorial? I am shook. I loved everything. Like I'm actually so surprised. I rarely say that in full face first impressions. Usually I don't like some of the products. Some of the products I prefer to the other ones. And you know, like it's personal preference when it comes to makeup. I'm very impressed with this LMD palette, guys. I would go out and buy this wherever you can find this. Like I said, I'll find it online and link it down below. I think this was one of the stars of the show today because I'm just so obsessed with my eye look. I just love it so much. I think this palette is worth it. It's lovely. I find out the price of this, but I feel like it's in around the 30 euro. I remember from the promo information that I got in the PR kit. And the other product I was really surprised with and pleasantly surprised with was the Urban Decay Sin palette. I mentioned this in another video saying that there was no way I was going to buy it, like it wasn't up my alley at all and then when it arrived in PR yesterday and I looked at it I was like, 
I actually really like that. I'm super happy with the Too Faced bronzer. I feel like this is really nice. It's gonna be lovely for the summer months. It's just in the perfect shade for me. That was in the shade Chocolate Gold, just if you're wondering. Another product I'm super impressed with is the Rocketure Liquid Liner. I don't wanna say that this is gonna replace my Essence Liquid Liner, Liquid Ink Liner, because this might be one of those products from Catrice that they discontinue but I really like this it's so black easy to use and I'm just really really happy with this I love the lip combo I know we're sick of nudes on this channel but I loved this these dosa color lipsticks are really nice I have a few in my collection like I already said and I never wear them I don't know why because they're really pretty and the lip liner from Colourpop I've only used maybe one lip liner from them before and I think it was a really dark shade but I really like their lip liners they are really creamy and easy to use I'm loving this foundation guys I know I haven't done my full wear test of this foundation but it looks beautiful on my skin everything sat on top of on top of it so well I highly recommend this foundation I will come back at the end of the day obviously because I'm still testing it out today to say you know my full thoughts on it I think the concealer was lovely really brightening and didn't crease on me which I'm happy out about I'm so happy to have found a new contour palette this is really good as well and setting underneath the eye it didn't crease my under eye area I don't know if it's a mix between the concealer or this powder but they went really well together and oh my god Catrice are killing it these liquid shadows are just beautiful now I didn't do the best job blending it on my eyelid I just need to practice with them a little bit but they are gorgeous and then I really like this Lash Paradise from L'Oreal for my brows I thought it was lovely totally comparable to Cabrow just putting that out there I'm so obsessed I feel like I found favorites for life I am just so obsessed I feel like my March favorites is going to be so overwhelming because I've tried out so many amazing products this month I'm going to continue obviously to use everything that I put on my face today because it's the first time I've tried it so I'm going to continue to use it and wear it see what I think of it and then give you like my full review in like a March favorites or like a roundup of you know what products I'm liking at the moment so do check out the description box for more information on the products that I wore today where to find them pricing all that jazz and I'll talk to you guys in my next video I love you all Mwah. bye guys